All right, this is it. This is the last one of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and help you out with figuring out how to solve these last two. And the last two um, uh, talk about the, the whole perpendicular bisector thing all over again. And uh, for the first one, we have perpendicular bisectors. And if they're the same length, if those perpendicular bisectors are the same length, then these two chords have to be the same length because it's the same distance from the, from the uh, center of the circle. But they also give you the extra information um, about uh, uh, certain things. So they're going to tell you that this chord is 20 and that this chord is 5x. And because we know that these are the same distance from the center of the circle, then, then these two things have to be the same. So it's just like throwing a little equal sign in between these two things. And all we're going to do is set up our equation. And really, we're setting up a single step equation for this. And so it should be really, really super simple. What we're saying is that the length of VW is 20 and the length of uh, YZ is 5X. So we're going to say that 5X is equal to 20. All right, what number times 5 equals 20? Now you know this. I'm going to move on to the next one. The next one, if this, if this holds true, and we've been told that these two arcs are exactly the same uh, distance, that's what these two uh, hash marks mean. It means they're congruent. And so we're going to go ahead and solve. That means that these two distances from the center have to be the same because the arcs are congruent. If the arcs are congruent, therefore the chords are congruent, therefore they have to be the same distance from the center of the circle if you're drawing a perpendicular bisector. Let me say it again. If the arcs are congruent, therefore the chords are congruent, and therefore the distance from the center of a perpendicular bisector has to be the same okay and if you want to rewind that and see if you can figure that one out go ahead i'm just telling you that the distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to there because of this congruence okay if these arcs are congruent therefore the chords are also congruent and now we know that this distance has to be congruent as well. So we're going to solve it, setting up an equation. We're going to set up x plus 4 equals 2x minus 1. Okay? And so I'm going to move, I'm going to subtract x from both sides. I'm going to add 1 to both sides, and I'm going to have my answer. I, I don't want to do it for you because the answer is there. As soon as you subtract the x and add the 1, you're going to have your answer. If I do it real fast, then I've given you the answer. And I want you to try and find these by solving them on your own. Okay, and that's it. That's the end of the page. And I think you're going to be okay. And these two things right here, um, for those of you that, that didn't like... Uh, 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 eight and nine previously, or no, these were on the other page. Um, I, I think we're getting a, a solidified version of, of how things are going. Um, if you still need help with something, send me a message and, uh, I'll go ahead and post something for you, something specific. All right. That's it.